Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with a better advent and quite a bit of restrictions for ourselves. It needs to be that bloody harsh run that everybody is looking for. Let's hope I can deliver on that one. So far um, the a better advent didn't really produce that many new enemies so we're going to see about it. It's time for Operation Hellborn Father, getting an engineer and the intel, which is well, well needed for another scientist. And we still want to get Frodo on board to potentially get them up to captain rank. Wurz is going to join us. Uh, of course, Reckoner, uh, who's quote unquote leading the run, will be a good addition. I am contemplating if we want a sniper or if we're better off with a ranger. Hmm. Good question, Saiken. How about we're taking a ranger? And how about we're giving the nanoscale vest to the ranger? Okay, that looks almost like kind of a ambush team. Let's see how well these guys are going to do it might be a harder mission it's labeled as moderate and keep in mind we have zero upgrades on anything so the missions from here on will e gradually become more and more difficult okay we just landed and here we are in the middle of uh, the sewers one of my favorite locations in XCOM got an operative here bit of high ground over there and that's one of the missions where you just gotta hold the ground until reinforcements arrive i will go the invaders send a patrol there is a first patrol and i would just stay in cover for now we got some high nice little high ground up here which I'm more than willing to use. Moving for. All right, Frodo. Makes their way onto the high ground as well. Wurtz takes the front line and quick feet. Stepping takes the front line as well. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we know that they are positioned right behind again, the wall. Commander, remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Okay. Affirmative, moving out. This should not trigger. Barely out of line of sight. I think this is the right this is the right play. Now we wait. <laughs> we just need to find a way to Explode. I take a new approach. That m proximity mine before they spot us out. And Our this here should be a good way to deal with it. Yep, it is. It's exactly what I was looking for. Well, there we go. Hello. All right, Frodo. Well, I suppose we don't even need Frodo. We're instead moving over here. Wurtz uh, has a stock, so that's 100% kill. There we go. 
and oh, let's move up and eventually get that second pack An alien scouting party. which is right over there Got it covered. quick feet is still hidden thanks to <clears throat> phantom Good, and as they are moving closer, we eventually will be able to ambush them. They can't see us yet. 100% kill. Mm, that's not bad. I like it. But it seems as if there is no disadvantage to just wait and let them come forward. Of which, of which, I am trusting you. Went all the way over here. I'll watch closely. Reload Overwatch and Overwatch. If they walk into line of sight, we should be able to get them. Which they naturally are not. Okay, cool. Well then, let's use this intriguing opportunity, shall we? On the move. We're moving over without pulling anything. Alright, we're not moving over without pulling anything because apparently there was that one little field where we pulled something. All right, time to pull them out of their full cover. And teach them a valuable life lesson, which is don't fuck with skirmishers. Nice, the scope is helpful. Moving into full cover. Unfortunately, we only uh, we only got one target. Well, that is indeed unfortunate. 55% chance to hit him. If not, two points of damage. Two points of damage is still okay. What? Is that sector no longer melee vulnerable? Oh, it's a sectored soldier. All right, they remove melee vulnerability. Fair enough. Yep. Well, but he certainly is shotgun vulnerable. Love it. Flanking shot into a kill. And we're moving up. And time to kill this guy. Good. I think overall that was a solid engagement. I a little bit different than I would have expected, but uh, thanks to our stealth, uh, we were doing quite well. The train here will be a fantastic option for us to use high ground. Uh, the middle here as well. I think potentially the way that it looks like some dropping might happen over here. Maybe over here. This here could be a, a, a place. So definitely what we would want to do is get onto that uh, middle high ground section. Oh, And maybe we're taking like quick feet for that other high ground uh, position. Yeah, there could also be kind of some some dropping back there. 
All right, time to take our positions. We don't want to go too close uh, so that we're not triggering the spawn already. Good, and we're a, we're a bit at a difficult spot because at the same... We want to go onto that high ground, but I fear that moving up here will actually start the spawn. So what we're going to do is move as close as possible to the edges so that a potential spawn would not be the end of the world. And I think we, we, we might want to use uh, the skirmisher here and they can grapple up here or up here. Just use their positioning to our advantage, really. I need to reload. Reloading were never need, uh, needed. Yeah, we definitely want to reload. Not reloading here would be careless play and I, I don't like making like those easy mistakes. Okay, so now let's see if my suspicion was right. Oh, well, before we can even see that, okay. we got to move in. Heading out. Good. Yet another round. And let's see if my suspicions are right. If we're moving up, is that already triggering? No, it's not. Fantastic. That is an outcome which I appreciate. You know, and we might be able to just step up here. We can always step down and grapple ourselves into a different direction. Okay, we don't need to overwatch. There is no enemy. Now, how about losing our concealment so that we can actually uh, con uh, contribute uh, with an overwatch? I think that it's the right play. We still can reconceal ourselves. We are known to them. They brought friends. But yeah, if we were I have the VIP in tow, moving to evac. VIP identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. Okay, so if we were in Ambush. concealment, we ground. wouldn't have been able to like overwatch. Uh, we're going overwatch. onto an overwatch. And I like to think okay. that that high ground up here is actually going to be helpful for us. Position ourselves down here. That'll still allow us to grapple up if needed. Or eventually even go in further and grapple up here. I think that's the plan. So for now, let's welcome the reinforcements. Although we're standing in the open, that's still fine. They can't take shots immediately. And we're slowly but surely going to take on some high ground here as well. So Overwatch, Overwatch, VIP. Difficult decision. There are a lot of open areas here. Standing in the middle of the rooftop might not be the worst idea. Position confirmed. 
All right, Overwatch. Okay, cool. Let's see what we're dealing with. Well, that is 14 hit points right there. Uh, as always, you just gotta love the accuracy, right? Right? Well, on the other hand, that was a pretty decent maneuver. Love it. More sheep to the slaughter. That's the spirit. More sheep to the slaughter. I would like to get over here, so we're not going to take that. On your order. I will use our flanking position. Good. Slowly but surely advancing. Who's the teammate? Oh, right over there. Good. Well, that's not going to... That's not going to be some handing over of actions this turn. Unfortunately, we can't really grapple over there. We're just out of range. I think before we're now taking like 50-50 shots, which I am not inclined to take, I much rather would like to grapple to high ground. Start dealing with that guy. I could use some high ground to be honest, but I think none is available. That's affirmative. 50 50 to kill him. If not, reduce his health to one. Well, that was good. And the reason why I wanted to do exactly that I move is now. we're still having a high ground position. Right over here, and Sandman will get that Overwatch. Okay, so far we're we're actually doing reasonably well, all things considered. There's the Overwatch. Like the rifle, not the best Overwatch weapon, because it is a weapon that assumes you're critting. And it, it'll be awesome when you're critting, but it won't be that awesome if you're not. Ninety percent. Sixty percent. Okay, well. I'll take the eighty percent grab. Fantastic. And then an eventual double kill. Well, that's the strength of the skirmisher right there. Got a nice uh, option to move in and overwatch right there. Alright, fantastic positioning in cover and double flank. Stand in the open, 
so what can we do? Well, that's 100% kill. Might as well reload. And make sure that we're getting this guy. Wonderful. And thanks to the stock, that here is 100% kill as well. So we're using reload tactics. To get all of them down. Reloading. And still got that overwatch. Okay, so far it's going reasonably well, actually. Ah, too bad. I was hoping we would get them. Okay, well, that is minimum damage. Very unfortunate. Let us hopefully kill that guy. There we go, that's good. And thankfully, so far, we haven't used teamwork. We are so that should be a kill. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Shotgun to the face. Never ceases to impress. Such a simple but yet so effective technique. Moving over. Got it covered. And we're overwatching. Cool. I must reload. Hasn't been that bad yet. It seems we have found some really decent positions. Oh yeah, well that was good. Brand is in position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. Well, there are two ways of going about it. There, there will, will be two more harsher waves coming in. We might farm them for XP. Or we're just going to go our merry ways. I believe it is more appropriate to form them for XP. On the move. So a slight transition. Back online. Reloading weren't ever necessary. Oh, we could have already moved them out. Yeah, we're, we won't be able to hit anyone from here. But I would want to stay here because next round there is going to be more. So might as well just reload. Overwatch. Another Overwatch. Got three Overwatches. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, that's a lot of hit points. Alright, one of them is down. Adjusting sight. We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes.
All right. Time to deal with those jokesters. Uh, barely didn't get both of them. Moving in. That's three down. Just want to make sure that we're saving this engineer here. Okay, that's not too bad. What we can do is we can reload. And start dealing some damage. Not a hundred percent kill, but thanks to the stock, which is still waiting. We are going to be fine. Hostile neutralized. All right. Watching One more group of enemies. Advent soldiers loiter careless. Of course, you're Choosing the guy that is just charging in, so you have the worst angle possible. Of course you're not going to hit anything. Heading out. Good. Let's start with a few kills. Terminated. That's one down. Oh wow, that's a long way to go. Got it. Can't really move anywhere practical. I'm at your service. Moving into full cover. That's two gone. Move up to here. But eventually would open us for a flank. Move to here. Move up to here. Not sure why this here would not be able to see him. Uh, that should be very much able to see him got a bit of an issue with him theoretically flanking so potentially the right play will be to aggressively move in and get this guy down alright moving up That was a big mistake, my friend. It's time. 
I can always counter Overwatch. Thanks to our stocks. Or simply thanks to a kill. I'm all over it. Go, go, go. No time to spare. Good. Overall, I think it was the right decision to wait for those two waves to go by. And since nothing else is happening, I think we're good to go. It's easy to get overwhelmed, but if you do manage to have kind of two on each side and one operative that is able to uh, move between both of the sides, you are doing actually quite uh, quite well. And we did not even need to use all of our consumables. So that was good. I am hoping that the difficulty curve will uh, pick up just a tiny bit so that a better advent does what it's supposed to do. Good. Let's take a look at our skirmisher. Zero in is a, a not so bad ability and Wrath on the other hand is potentially even the better ability pulling yourself uh, towards it. Although, hmm. I mean, the zero in portion definitely is something that I would skill. I would skill both of it and ignore those, but I gotta choose between both of them and which one would be the worst, I I suppose. Hmm. That's a good question. Now, they are both quite good. I mean, Wrath allows for more playmaking as you can position yourself closer, but it is also more dangerous, whilst Zero In is really, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Plus 10, plus 10. I think Zero In is better, so we're going to go with Wrath, and we do have the option to get Return Fire here, which would be funny together with Reflex, so he gets an extra... Um, an extra action and also fire a spec. Uh, let's try that. Maybe we can make him or convert him into a tank of some sorts. So, I mean, without a question, remote start would be the right choice here. So, we're instead going to go for blood trail and are ignoring remote start. Squad side is not useful on a Reaper at all. Field Medic would be the right play, uh, because more uh, medical uh, protocol is the right thing to go. In absence of medical protocol, it loses some of its value, but having four charges is still supreme. So we're going with scanning protocol. And Frodo has just kind of reached that level of captain. Which means, if I'm not mistaken... Oh no, he's not captain yet. Did I mess up the ranks? Lieutenant. Yes, I did. Well, we got a lieutenant. That's not to be scoffed at either. One more rank and we finally can upgrade to six. Now, with another um, engineer... We're continuing our expansion. That's good. The rest is well on track. So I think we're doing fine. We're not taking a soldier. We're going to the black market because I want to use the intel. For the scientist. And purchase that before the month end. Because at month end this year resets. And we're also having the problem that the intel cost goes up. Advanced focus. No, all of that is not good. Scope. If it would be a better scope, then yes. Without it, not worth it. Okay. Cool. It's not even the end of the month. I think we did uh, quite well. That was a really good upgrade. Three engineers, two scientists. Now let's move up. And make contact and end the month. There we go. So it was a successful month overall. 
Oh yeah, off screen, um, just uh, when I was uh, preparing for that mission, an alien facility had been uh, created in South America. I should have mentioned that beforehand. Brutal crackdown, permanently lowering XCOM's income. Well, I can live with that. This here stinks, but it's okay. We got permanent dark events, so this here is okay. Uh, that is a bit of a problem. High alert, I would like to counter it. Uh, we already got mission timers, so we're fine. 10% extra intel rewards, yeah. 10% supply drop, uh, it's okay, but this one is better. It just makes the missions smoother. We've got a shot at hitting the elders hard. Something okay, we can't use Templars, so are we really wanting to go down that route? Wealth ability points isn't bad. I think that this is the right play, Sergeant Plus. There's also an extra health, which is valuable in this run. It actually is relatively valuable. So let her be there. And let's use a couple of our other soldiers just to support her, no capturing happens, no ambush, and yeah, there's a chance of being wounded. But those 14 days are well invested, I think. Yeah, we're going to get the supplies. That'll be helpful just to buy a bit more material. And Johnny Five finally becomes a ranger. I think if we're checking our armory, we should be even on all classes. Three, three, three and three, which is good. So considering where we stand, let's maybe get one more ranger. Very good. So far the run is much less bloody than I was anticipating it to be. We just didn't take enough damage. Resistance radio is available, that's fantastic. And improved sniper rifles. Uh, who could say no to plus one damage on sniper rifles? Definitely not me. I like snipers. They are a good class. And more damage is good. Rapid collection. Resistance supply drops are collected instantly. So I will leave the supply drops here. Instead make contact and then build uh, the tower. That means we will save some time. Net net. And... We're potentially building the tower over here so that we can get to that facility sooner or later. Good, we got a resistance ring. If we upgrade it, we got a slot for additional resistance orders. I'll do that in a sec. Yeah, I still would want to continue clearing. Yes, the Covert Ops missions are great, and yes, speeding it up isn't bad either, but we need to clear everything. Good, another 100 supplies. So, what do we want to build? We got Guerrilla Tactics School, the Resistance Ring, and uh, potentially Power. So, it could be a training center to get those sweet, sweet extra skills. Or resistance communications, which potentially, if we want to, uh, um, if we want to expand, are the right way to go. Hmm. You know what? 
Let's just go with resistance comms. I said I wanted a bit of a different build order this time. And we are continuing our path of just clearing out everything. So... Okay, well, that's a good start. We ca could upgrade the resistance ring for another resistance order. At the moment that is not needed, but eventually we will do it. Ooh, look at that, we got... Hmm, that is interesting. I mean, we were making contact and collecting at the same time. Did I just find a game-breaking bug where you collect it and then fly somewhere else and it continues collecting? Hmm. That would be awesome. I gotta try that in the future... We've just received intel that one of in the future game. So we got the Viper King down here. Not a bad start. And we got some... Engineer plus Dark Event and the Lost. I love the Lost, so that would be nice. And a Scientist. Hmm. Difficult to say which one I like more. I think we're shorter on scientists, uh, scientists, so potentially this one here. On the other hand, there is a hidden uh, dark event, and I kind of don't want to let too many of them go through. Another engineer also will improve our uh, build out. So potentially we're going for that moderate mission. Could already see that the assassin will visit us. Elsewise it wouldn't be moderate in difficulty. But yeah, that's going to happen the next time that we're playing XCOM, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. If you did, uh, please leave a comment and a like down below because it helps the channel to grow and uh, motivates me to make even more content. Thanks, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.